<laughs> I'm not sure about that one, Belial. I think that was just me. You go to get one ferret, you come home with four. Yeah, I, I mean, generally speaking, unless you are going to have an awful lot of time to be able to dedicate to the ferrets, and even then, it's still generally preferable not to just have one, but they they uh, they do benefit from from having from having siblings and uh, uh, cage mates to to form a business with. If you got if you got lots of time. And sure, um, but it is generally speaking very good to have uh, to be able to let let them you know keep each other company when you're not around. That one might see me, yeah, but you won't. Yeah, you have. It's fine. Done and done. Now, apparently, uh, dungeons do not respawn. Or rather, dungeon loot does not respawn. It's map seed specific. Duly noted. Very, very useful info there. Did I just walk past carrots, really? Very true. Thank you very much. I completely missed that. I thought I thought that was one of the the glowing blue plants. I just thought it was in the caught in the light, but no. Quite right. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go and have a look. And this here tower. Oh, that's impressive. The thing about ferrets is they're very inquisitive, very, uh, very active. And these two qualities in combination mean that they get bored easily. And so you have to commit to making their environment rich of experiences. So that they uh, have got plenty to keep them entertained with. Now... Are we going to find any skeletons up here? Maybe not. It's a nice building, though. Really? You're going to do me like this? Really? I got enough for a workbench. I do not. Um, okay, well, the thing is, if I take this ladder down in order to get past... Yeah, exactly, I'm going to take that ladder down. Also, I'm using... No. Oh! Ha 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 ha! Okay, I wasn't expecting that to work, but sure. Well, not much up there for me, but okay. I'm down with it. Not exactly the most interesting of locations, but uh, a few extra arrows is always welcome. I had neglected my food quite badly there. Let's have a quick read. More carrots over there as well. Let all who read me beware of the grey dwarfs, the skull skulkers in the darkness, the soulless ones. We read this one before. So we shall move on. Turn more this way, I think. Hello.
There's more skeletons over there. That is a two-star Grey Dwarf. Thankfully, the uh, skeleton had done the vast majority of the work. It seems. I love the fact that they will fight each other. That's actually pretty cool. It does seem that looting this game is lacking. Well, I mean, the game is very in very early access, though. Um, I imagine they will tweak that experience considerably as they continue to get feedback and develop the game further. But even that aside, for me, the looting experience is not really the primary reason I'm playing this. Also, this looks interesting. Oh, there we go. All right. Flame arrows it is, then. Uh, not going to be useful. Oh, I wish I'd seen you earlier when uh, you weren't uh, having benefit from the rain. That would have been grand. I'm an equal opportunity archer. I will smack you both with flame arrows. As the opportunity provides. Nope. Thank you. Uh oh. Oh dear. I was trying to dodge it, but unfortunately, out of stamina. Did you mess up the skeleton already? I hope so. I need to pot some honey. Get that uh, good life regen going. Thank you. It seems this structure may actually be impervious to damage, so it's the best place for me to be circling because you can't actually do anything to me. It, you can't make it easier to get to me if I keep ducking and weaving to me. I'm not going to be so bold as to just go inside and hope that I don't die, but... To be honest... No. Oh, dodged way too early there. I didn't dodge early enough. Oh my lord, two health! Oh, I need to get back to my uh, safe space. That was close. How was I able to do... Have a better time fighting this in a tight space than I am now, when I've got all the time in the world and all the stamina in the world to deal with it? Weird. Guess I'll just set you on fire until you're done. I mean, I'm okay with this, I suppose, but... Well, that was shockingly close. Two health. Definitely the closest it's been. Closest we've come by a long way. Right now I need to eat a berry. I need to keep that food up. Oh, okay. That was close. I was emboldened by my previous success there. That's what that's what just happened. I was massively emboldened by my previous success. Alright, problem now is that I've got a lot of stuff that I kinda want. Guess I'll drop those. 
Not with the stones either. Two HP. <laughs> yeah, this troll knew what I did the last time. Yeah, honey is amazing. Honestly, I think honey is probably one of the best uh, best food types in the game. Burial chambers. So once again, going to mark this place. Back down to sneak sneak. Door. Passageway. Passageway, okay. Well, let's go the passageway route. Door. Passageway. I haven't seen any creatures open a door yet. Oh, it's spotted me. Oh, oh. No thanks. Damn it. Low on stamina. That was rough. Ah, it's because I'm wet for another 30 seconds. I'm going to wait for the wetness to wear off so my stamina regen kicks back up. Something, something overconfident. Something, something insidious killer. Indeed. Thanks. That parry bonus is just ridiculous. Though really the daggers can... Okay. My lord, they're always waiting for me. The daggers come into their own when it comes to sneak attack damage, really. That's where the daggers really shine. That backstab is absolutely lethal. Uh, take all. Oh, I can actually grab more. Okay, fair enough. Kind of wasn't expecting that. So that my stamina recover. Sometimes overconfidence isn't slow and insidious killer. Sometimes it's quick and brutal. <laughs> that is true, actually. I can hold the torch in my shield hand, but I'm not inclined to. Because right now, parrying is one of the main ways that I stay alive. Oh, okay, nothing back here. Going down this route. Gonna let my stamina recover first. Oh, trolls are stronger at night. Oh, that's very interesting. That would also kind of sit in with uh, mythology. Well, I mean, it's slightly out of uh, out of place because you know trolls shouldn't actually be stronger at night. They should be dead. Uh, sorry. Uh, stronger at night, they should be dead in the day. But you know what? When you're faced with uh, with uh, a numbers advantage, just keep wailing wildly with your dagger until everything is dead. Rip and tear until it is done. There we go. I have no room in my inventory. I don't want those got enough of these. Well, actually, no, we'll get rid of that. Kink, kink, kink. Got an... I've got... Um, yeah, I've got enough of those. There we go.
I think the mushrooms are better than berries. Let's have a look. 3.8. 0.9. Much better weight-wise. Better health. Yep. Duration 600. Duration 600. Yeah, they are actually better. Very much so. They will give me more maximum health. Right, not. Okay, fair enough. This place is not sneak friendly, it seems. Or at least not as sneak friendly as I wish it was. I do apologize if it's hard to see. Hopefully, we can improve that. Nope. No more spawn. torch to make sure I'm picking everything up in here. Uh, map location already added. Okay. I will take all of these things. Thank you. This dungeon reminds me strongly of old school D&D. Yeah, no, absolutely. <gasps> Lady Sheila just posted a picture of a dastardly sofa thief over on Twitter. Now, which sofa thief are you talking about? Did Tilly come in and steal your spot on the sofa? She is apt to do that. Or did you bring Bendy Boy in because he's looking a little bit sad because he's not allowed to to uh, hang with the rest of the business right now until they're, they're probably uh, in season. And he has stolen the sofa. Either way, I imagine it is, is very, very cute. But I'm just gonna call it now. I'm just gonna say it. I, I am I am gonna say it. It's more cute when it's Bendy Boy. Bendy Boy is the cutest thief. It's true. Not up for debate. Are you coming out? I mean oh, now you decide to come out. I disapprove. I did that to free up an entry spot, to be fair. Hmm. Wait for stamina to fully regen. Take care of me, James. Well, sadly, I work in the AM, so I bid you all good night. Take care, buddy. What? Ooh. Can I collect these? I want them. Hey, 31. I really want them. I appear not to be able to collect them. This makes me supremely sad. Hello! Secret treasure room! I approve greatly! Nine... That is amazing. We're almost at the point now where I'm going to have to have a second stack. That is impressive. I'm going to walk back with my torch out just to make sure that I've seen everything. Tilly definitely looking very smug. 
I've been here a whole month, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, CK Hawk, I really wanted these. But I, I imagine I can't get them. Uh, let me let me see. Can I can I take them off with a pickaxe? No, that's about the only thing I could imagine that I'd be able to collect them with. That's fine. Okay, look. All right, I know I know I know Skyrim and. It, it, I mean, obviously the thematic similarities are uh, 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 not to recognize them, but I really am getting a strong vibe of exploring dungeons in Skyrim doing these dungeon segments, and I'm loving this. I am all about this right now. Am I the only one who gets that vibe, though? I must know. Right, I think I'm going to head down to Raidsmith. Maybe I should build a raft at Raidsmith, actually. No, the wind is still working against us, no matter what. Let's get over here to Raidsmith. I probably want to pop a decent amount of fuel into these torches, too. All right, let's have a look. I guess I'll grab those. I guess I'll grab these too. Um, the resin I'll take. The rest I'll leave. The resin I'm only going to take for the sake of refilling the torches though. Rise of the resin, I'll leave here. Uh, now, the only real reason that I'm... In fact, I think I might leave my um, arrows here, too. And then I'm going to take the pine cones and the fir cones with me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use them. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make them... Uh, to grow them into anything, but... Um, I don't know if that, that requires some special tool. I remember someone mentioning in the last stream that I wouldn't be able to plant trees for a while. Whether that was because I they didn't imagine me wanting to plant the basic trees that were around everywhere, you know, what's the point in that sort of thing, or and that uh, and they were more referring to I'm just not going to see trees that I feel like planting for a while, or whether there is some sort of technology or or, or a tool that I'm going to need for it. Cultivator, it's a farming tool. I'm getting close. Oh, okay, then. thank you very much. Why are you throwing a stone at me from so far away when you've got such a terrible throw? What are my skills? You know what? The next time I take a, I, I stop at a, uh, at a camp. Which at this point is going to be um, Troll Scorched. We will have a look at that. I'll have a look at my skills. Ooh, got up to 10 skill. Swimming. You know what? We're just going to play the game normally. Swimming across rivers every now and then. But eventually I'm going to have enough swimming that I can swim out and get that raft. As much as I was saying that we could leave it as a permanent reminder of uh, where I died at sea, no. Why, why waste a good boat? No, perhaps it's a cursed boat. Hmm. 
At this point, I need heaps of copper and tin. Yeah. Fair. But we'll stop to have a look at my stats once we get there. Um, if collecting copper and tin is a really high priority, I mean, that makes sense, actually. We, we seem to be using a lot. Uh, the It's not like the wind isn't going the right direction for me right now. So, sure, we could just settle down here at Troll Scorch for a little bit. And I could do some mining for a bit. Yeah, I see no reason not to. Drop these off. There we go. There's our ten, though. Everything we need to make the troll cape. And then our sneaking is going to be that much better. Another chest. All right. Can I build the cart yet? I wasn't even aware that a cart was a thing we could build, so no. Or at least I assume I can't. Probably put some torches outside of Troll Scorched. a stone. I thought that was flint. If I can find enough flint, I will build a uh, uh, I will build down here a, a um, chopping block. In. It's fine. Okay. Good enough. Man, that troll really was me. I've got 20 armor. I remember the time when I had four. Ah, uh, the cart is the only thing that, that allows you to carry more. Well, I don't have it. In here, at least. Let me see if it's something I can build. I can build a raft. Yeah. I imagine a cart is going to have iron shod wheels. So it's almost certainly not something I'm going to be... Uh, going to be able to make yet. I've only just unlocked iron... Uh, of, like, smelting. And it's not like I've actually smelted much. I've smelted one bar of tin so far, so uh, we've got a ways to go yet. Well, you know, we'll get there. Little by little, bit by bit. Slow and steady. My philosophy when it, when gaming is, is generally... It's the journey that matters more than the destination. 
So I'm in no rush to do anything. Even if it would greatly improve my... Uh, oh, well, here's, here's a bit of a... Bit of a I, I guess, I guess a, a bit of a... Uh, a weird... Uh, irony? Maybe irony is the wrong word, but... I will prefer not to rush to something, even if it would help me out. But then I will make a big deal of, oh, I wish I'd gotten this early. And But it's, it feels fun to to have that progress. Does that make sense? Like, it's like, oh, if only I had this this earlier. When I say that, it's not, it's not me being frustrated that I didn't have it earlier. It's me acknowledging how good it is to have it now in a bit more of a comedic way, I guess. I hope that is a little bit more uh, of an explanation about the way my mind works with games. Like, I am happy to grind, even if I'm fairly certain there may be a, a more efficient way of doing it in a little while, or if I just burned t through a, a bit of content in order to get to it. I'm happy to grind it, and I'll just appreciate more when I then get that, that amazing new thing. I don't know, I'm a little bit weird with that sort of thing, I guess. Right then. Maybe I should have a little workbench over here so I can uh, level things. I don't know. I guess I don't need it that much. Robzilla, sometimes I remember how sharp my brain used to be, but rarely these days. Getting old is not fun. Oh, Grubzilla, I'm sure that. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I have no idea what you're, what you're referring to in regards to why you, you have that feeling right now, but I'm, I'm, I'm certain that you know, your brain is still young in many ways. And you're, you're sharp as a keen arrowhead. You just, uh, you know, the, the, the shaft is a little, little bit crooked, so you don't fly through anymore. But when you hit it, oh my goodness, straight through. 